through fashion films, I'm able to do the things that normally I wouldn't be able to do. Fashion films should give you dreams. I think it's really funny because a lot of people think fashion film is easy to describe, but I think it's very, very complicated. It's not the clothes that carry the actor, it's the actor that carries the clothes. Same things with environment, space, makeup, etc. I mean, I really see it as a film. I mean, for me, fashion film is film, is moving image. And I really connect it to cinema. And that's why cinema is the perfect match. ago wandering around Rome I started being fascinated by the idea of portraying people the more I put the camera between me and the subject the more I was comfortable with myself Roger Vivier shoes 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 Gerardo Felloni, creative director of the Parisian luxury brand Roger Vivier, is sketching new treasures for next season. Any ideas that are ever borrowed from the past are actually brought to life. We shot the film in 16 millimeters and chose the cast, the costumes and the set design to immediately feel the retro atmosphere. I was inspired by Truffaut and Godard and now I'm intrigued by Korean cinema, Lee Chandong for example, and his film Burning. Fashion film is super new ones, although it has very old roots. I mean, I really see it as a film. I mean, for me, fashion film is film, is moving image. And I really connect it to cinema. And that's why cinema is the perfect match. Because I, I think like fashion film is there for ever since film is there. And the fantastic thing about fashion film, like there's so many ways to approach it. And I think it will constantly renew itself. The director Scott, so basically it's a commission, it was an advertising for jewelry brands and you know I did it as a director, like client-based work, but then I made like uh, my own version of it and that's director Scott. What I love about it is, is the styling and this kind of fun thing about, you know, vintage clothing and uh, going back in time a bit. And it just, you know, it's great. I mean, it's Italian style. You know, often, fashion film seen as a, like a video, you know, made by photographers. Uh, and there is, of course, but I think it's much bigger than that. And you can have a really avant-garde approach and artistic approach, or you can have very visual arts based approach and uh, abstract. Pour moi, 
vraiment un film mode, je le vois plus comme un court métrage plutôt qu'un film publicitaire. J'essaye toujours de, de raconter des histoires. Pour moi, c'est vraiment important de, de faire passer un message, de raconter une histoire pour attirer le, le regard, le, la curiosité du, du spectateur euh, et aussi pouvoir en dégager une émotion. Ma vision d'un délit, c'était vraiment de, de représenter un, un, un moment du quotidien euh, dans lequel on pouvait tous s'identifier. Euh, et pour moi, la routine, en fait, c'est vraiment un, un, un moment où en fait, il faut, faut savoir l'appréhender euh, pour pouvoir vraiment en faire une, une force. Euh, si on l'appréhende mal et qu'on n'en fait pas une force, ça peut tout de suite être euh, problématique, en fait. pas parce qu'il y a une répétition dans nos gestes, dans nos moments, dans notre instant de vie, euh, que c'est négatif. En fait, il faut, faut voir le positif dans cette situation. My name is Katka Miharak and I'm a director of a film, Last Fashion, More Donuts. I'm happy because we shot it, this film during a confinement, so it was really hard to shot to shoot. And so we did it with like very very tiny crew. Only a few people work on that film, and we did it with no budget. Less fashion, more donuts is a. Um, It's a fashion film, which is actually anti-fashion film or anti-fast fashion film. Because uh, what I wanted to tell through, through this project was that a fashion industry, it's the second biggest polluter just after oil industry. So I think we should buy smart. And this is the message from this film, buy smart. <laughs> My name is Hadi Moussali, I'm a filmmaker and photographer. I'm originally from Lebanon and I live between Paris and Barcelona. A lot of people think fashion film is easy to describe, but I think it's very, very complicated. One definition of fashion film made by Nick Knight is fashion and movement, and I relate to that. But for me, it's not the only definition of fashion film. For me, fashion film is a form of hybrid work, mixing genre. And also fashion is the main subject, but it can be also a second subject in the movie. Ophelia is a collaboration with Yumi Katsura, the brand. And when you see the collection, it, there's a lot of flowers and nature on the kimonos. So we had the idea to do a tribute to the pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. When we see the movement today, we can think that it's a little bit classic. But at that time, it was very non-conformist and anti-Victorian. And uh, their aim was to show the perfection in the imperfection. And that's really how I feel today. I really love to show th things differently, to show the beauty all around us. The difference between a film and a fashion film is the treatment of design. It's not the clothes that carry the actor, It's the actor that carries the clothes. Same things with environment, space, makeup, etc. My inspiration comes from my heart. The environment, clothes, makeup, design in a fashion film.
I am Agnès Tassel and I am French and my English is so bad. Agnès Tassel was born on a sunny summer afternoon in 1959. Why is she here today? Well, like most of the things in her life, it is because of love. Age 10, Agnes falls in love for the first time. Age 13, she skipped school for the first time because... She told me not to say this, but she got her first kiss. Clement. Well, she gave him the first kiss, really. A fashion film should give you dreams first and we need it a lot in this life and gives you the desire of buying the clothes you see on it and uh, it could make you laugh as well which is quite nice. By the age of 20 she had already tried four different jobs. The bosses thought her too restless. But if I may be very honest she was just always bored. Age 21, she ran away to London with the love of her life. Then, her very first heartbreak. But it turned out for the better because she found the love of her life at the Beauty and Makeup Academy of London. And she works as a makeup artist till today. By the end of her 30s, she lived in five different cities, traveled to more than 50 different countries, and kissed 26 different No, Vincent. Whoops. I was born in a little village in Normandy, in France, and my dream was, has been all the time, to escape. So I've been living in Paris for about 40 years, working as a gay makeup artist on movies and I became a model three years ago by chance and I really enjoy this new life. At the age of 60 she wanted to be a model but then for a moment she thinks she might be getting too old for this. At the age of 60 years and 30 minutes old she realized that all her life she has done whatever she felt like. So why should she stop now? I was introduced to Zoe and her team at the last minute, the morning of the shooting. And it was at the Raphael Hotel in Paris, a very antique hotel, mythic hotel. It was a very full day because we had to shoot all the film in one day. So it was quite hard. But I remember the feeling of really being loved and admired by everyone on the set. And that really helps. And so you ask, why is she here today? It's because she has been. Intrépide! Révolté. Ignorant. Romantique. Totally, fully, Agnes. In my film, I show a pastime to brothers who, from their morning, uh, watch for an uh, event in the evening. After go to the party, after party on the morning, I show a sober morning that feeling that after you fun night, you feel so good. A passion for me is a story. It with there are a lot of images and atmospheric created by people and interesting and beautiful images. Hello everyone, my name is Feta. I'm 16 years old and I'm a model from Moscow for about a year. 
For me, this film is a new experience and discovery of myself uh, as an actor because I have never tried myself in this area before. To me, fashion film is an expression of uh, love for fashion, costume design, filmography, score, acting, so many, so many, so many criteria. I think it depends on how the director is perceiving it as. I think it's a combination of everything and I think that's what makes uh, fashion film so interesting. I can, I can, I can. I can, I can, I can learn to give. I can, I can. I've been a designer for 25 years, and uh, two years ago I decided to give back uh, to three very important issues. The first one being Mother Earth, the second being mental awareness, and the third one being um, paying homage to the animals that perished for our survival. Through fashion films, I'm able to explain, I'm able to. Uh, do the things that normally I wouldn't be able to do. The vision behind Inhuman Love started off with one simple notion, and it is to save Mother Earth before we run out of time. Our vision for this piece is definitely to showcase uh, and to explain to the people that it doesn't take a super hero or one person to save Mother Earth, but it takes every one of us. Tony, who plays a military man, isn't able to say um, this representation of either a human or an alien or Mother Earth, uh, but yet we're trying to express that it takes the whole world to move and to uh, fix this problem. No bones, no bones, no blood in you. Fashion film to me is kind of like what a psychedelic drug is to the human mind. It pushes the boundaries between the normal and the abstract. It changes and influences how the way that they should view art, uh, what the ideas are and how things should be represented. So I think this is really a big part of human ingenuity and it pushes the creative boundaries for people as a whole. And this also changes the way that the story is told from person to person. For me, I try to do acting kind of in a way that's method acting. Uh, I try to understand who it is that I'm portraying, what their story is, everything about them, every single detail, and I want to make sure that I am understanding from the perspective and the idea of the mind who created this character so that I can better portray this from their perspective on the screen as an avatar for their film.